of course it's not over. Six months ago, I investigated CryptoZoo, a scam created by Logan Paul and yeah. a team of criminals. Oh, and a dude named Jeff, which ultimately oh, yeah, resulted in millions of dollars being stolen from fans. I was threatened with a lawsuit for exposing it, but ultimately, Logan Paul decided to thank me instead for his public undressing yeah. and announced a $1.8 million refund to the victims. Now, uh -huh. I thought that was a great ending to the story. Well, yeah, and that's what everybody else thought, too. But I also said this, I'll follow up in the future to make sure that he actually gives that money away. And that's why we're here Ooh. today. It's been- Oh, that's, it's been, yeah, about six months, right? Six months, so- Yeah, that's about right. Here's a follow up. Logan Paul has not paid back his victims. He hasn't talked about it since he first announced he was going to pay them back. And what's worst of all, he doesn't seem to have a plan in place to refund anyone. How do I know that? Well, because I've been asking Logan for that plan to refund people the entire time behind the scenes. Let's in messages see it. like these. Quote, hey, Logan, following up on the zoo refunds, when should people expect those? That was in February. About a month. And then a month later, following up again, people are wondering what's going on. Almost been two months. Very frustrating for victims to get promises and then see nothing. And get Does through. anybody really think that anybody's going to get any money out of Logan Paul? I, I mean, come on, guys. I don't think it's going to happen, bro. I really don't. Bro, communication. Yeah, the money got pledged. And then later, okay. hey, Logan, following up for a third time, it's been over five months since you promised to refund the victims of CryptoZoo over $3 million. Well, I meant to. Well, uh, yeah, well, it was 1.8, right? Say $1.8 yeah, million yeah, okay, there. Okay. The price of crypto changed a lot, so. What this buyback was going to be was constantly changing. Yeah, I just sure. misspoke there. Either way, my point was this, quote, you haven't contacted any of them nor explained why you haven't done what you said you'd do. Yeah. Meanwhile, you got public credit for promising to do this. So then he's then it's done. The goal has already been achieved. He's already gotten the public credit. He's already gotten everything. And so the problem is solved. There you go. And all of this, Logan didn't respond to, which is odd since he was such a fan of me reaching out to him personally. You know, instead of making things public. Maybe we could have talked about this if you had reached out to me personally, not my manager, Jeff, who is not me, me, Steven. Well, I did reach out to you and I got no response. Yeah, In fact, what a surprise. the only response I got came on my fourth attempt to reach Logan, but this one came from his criminal defense lawyers. A guy named Jeffrey Neiman emailed me after my fourth attempt saying, Steven, see inserted on behalf of Logal Paul. Logal. To be honest, I had no idea. Wait, wait. See inserted on behalf of Logal Paul. Now, to be honest, I had no idea who Logal Paul was until I researched the lawyer and learned that he, quote, regularly defends individuals and corporations in white collar criminal litigations. Smart pick. And that's when I realized... Oh, that Logal Paul. Why didn't you just say you defended alleged white collar criminals? Yeah. Would have saved me a Google search. So I opened up the letter and it read, right. we represent Logan Paul. Mr. Paul has informed us of your outreach about the status of the CryptoZoo buybacks. Mr. Paul remains committed to this process. We are working with Mr. Paul to evaluate the best way to achieve this goal. In the meantime, please direct to our attention any further inquiries to Mr. Paul. Thank you for your patience. Oh and my God, this is so fucking funny. Oh my God. It's like, yeah, guys, uh, it's, it's coming, okay? It's coming in two weeks. You're gonna get your money back, all right? Understanding. Now, that might seem like a good step in the right direction. Yeah, it me. is. At least we got a response on behalf of Logal. But when I read their response carefully, I realized things were actually worse than I thought. Really? Because two things are absent from this statement. One, a timeline for refunds, and two, a plan for refunds. That's intentional. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on purpose. Yeah, this was by design. And there is I mean, a timeline. He said soon. So it's got to be soon, right? So the and the plan is to do it soon. I mean, I, yeah, I feel like it, it's there you go. You have this abominable statement which says we are working with Mr. Paul to evaluate the best way to achieve this goal. Uh-huh. Uh, sure. So you're still at the whiteboard then. Guys, this is a statement you say when you have no plan or you're stalling, right? You say, we're evaluating the best options. 
I mean, that's where Logan yeah. was back in January. He was evaluating. Am I supposed to believe six months later, you guys haven't figured this out? You've gathered all the boys in the office, brainstorming every single day. How do we refund people? And you don't know? I mean, listen, yeah. he had more of a plan, Logan did, back in January. I'm not even sure what there is to even still figure out because... Well, what do you mean you don't know what there is to figure out? They're the biggest thing is left to figure out. How do we get out of paying two million dollars? And that's the thing they're they're still trying to figure out. And as soon as they figure out how to avoid paying the money, then it will be over. Way back yeah, then, that's a lot of money. January sixteenth, he said, "I've committed more than one point eight million for those who do not want to wait for CryptoZoo to be completed." Uh huh. Players will be able to burn their base eggs and base animals for their mint price. I mean, there it is. That's the plan. Pay a blockchain dev to code that up and pay the victims their money. That's it. But we see absolutely no sign of that. And it's not for a lack of Logan having the cash. He's on a world tour for Prime right now, bragging about how much money his drink company is making. It's in crazy. January of this year, we, we did 45 million. Oh, wow. only in January. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow, 45 million is a good month. It's a lot of also, fucking money. January happens to be the same month Logan promised those crypto zoo refunds. So there's no good explanation for why Logan hasn't refunded his victims yet because he had a plan back in January. Promise asked, I need to drink Prime and just see if it's any good or not. Had the money, but there's even less of a good explanation for why he hasn't explained himself for the delay to either me privately or to the victims publicly. Who Any are just updates? Win refund. I don't want communication. I just want re communication on refund. I no longer want to be part of this scam. Yo, give me my goddamn refund. We want a refund. Refund a. Oh, man. Isn't it funny to go back and look at this shit? Like now it's 2023. It's like halfway to 2024. And people, like, is it, is, isn't it like it was a fucking fever dream that these dumb fucks actually thought that they were going to buy pictures of eggs on the internet and become rich? Like, how the fuck did people imagine this was going to work? Like, how are people so fucking stupid? I couldn't believe it when it was happening. And there's still some of them that are like this. Waiting around for months oh with no God. word about the status of their promised refund. Now, eventually, I do believe Logan Jesus. will address this. I think he has to. And when he does, I think he'll probably point to a lawsuit that he's in for the reason he couldn't. Yeah, that's, yeah he can't talk about it. He can't do it. And like that's going to be the last time you ever heard, hear of it. He had to be silent. Only he's tried this before, and it didn't make a lot of sense then either. I had to rely on my team. I crumbled internally, and the advice was, while actual legal process was going on because of criminal investigation taking place that CoffeeZilla highlighted in his series, I had to stay silent. And for a f year, I'm hounding Jeff. Hounding Jeff. How do we make this right? All right, let's get this straight. Logan was dying to make CryptoZoo right the first time, but was legally required to be silent until a YouTuber talked about it? D yeah, yeah, because it was like got a lot of views. So like... It Did the sense. judge magically unseal his lips when my yeah. video dropped? I, yeah. I'm confused. That's right. He's not yeah, prevented from happened. explaining himself, and he's certainly not legally prevented from giving people their money back. Even if you want to argue the point that maybe Logan might look more guilty if he promises to pay victims, well, sure, but he already did that, though. Well, the th here's what happens, right? Is that like he's our like this drama has already happened. It's already trended on Twitter. And the second time that some of these things come around, people just don't give a shit as much anymore. Yeah, this is old news. Anybody who actually expected like Logan Paul, you gotta keep in mind, Logan Paul played World of Warcraft and Burning Crusade. There's no way that you played WoW back then and you didn't know about scamming people and the different bullshit that can happen on the internet. So you have to, like, you have to contextualize it around that. Oh, wow. Some guy that's been doing this shit for 15 years, of course he's going to fucking... Nobody's getting their fucking money back. This is just how it is. He said he Suddenly felt so sense. bad yeah. that he was going to refund $1.8 million to the affected people who invested. But actually delivering that promise doesn't add any layer of admission to that guilt. 
He already said he was responsible. At this point, refunding people is just doing what he said he was going to do from the beginning. Yeah. No, I think the real reason Logan hasn't paid, if I had to guess, is just because either he does not want to pay, he cannot be bothered to pay on time, or he's just stalling. All of which are unacceptable. Because let me remind you- I, I think it's just he doesn't want to give them the money because like there are two worlds that you can live in. There's the world where you have $2 million and the world you don't have $2 million. So, I mean, I feel like it's a pretty easy decision, right? I mean, shit. ...view of his promise. Quote, I have committed more than $1.8 million for those who do not want to wait mm -hmm. for CryptoZoo to be completed. That is what he said and the people are tired of waiting, including me. After months of trying to work behind the scenes and ask questions behind the scenes privately to him, I'm just out of ideas and I'm stuck trying to speak to Logan in the only language I believe he understands. The videos. Self-interest. Logan, if I could speak to you for a second. Okay, bring in the camera. This isn't worth your time. Getting publicly flogged like this every six months. What are we gonna be doing this in a year? No. I could see Logan Paul being able to, like, if Logan Paul manages to not pay this and he turns it into a meme, I will be genuinely fucking impressed because I feel like there's at least a 20% chance that's gonna happen. That would be insane. It's advertising for him. Yes, 100% chance. I think he'll pay my hurt prime sales. You think 12 year olds give a fuck about this? No, they don't give a fuck. Okay, it's not worth your time. It's barely worth my time. Just please pay the people back what you owe. Give them a real timeline, a real plan. And then we can all go back to pretending you've changed. <laughs> okay, that was good. <laughs> all right. Oh, what a good video. Fuck the haters, love all my fans. Yeah, yeah, it's just like the Crypto Zoo saga was one of my favorite times on the internet, man. In a world where you have $2 million and you did nothing wrong, or another one where you're minus $2 million and you're recognized as a scammer. Yeah, and I think Logan Paul, the thing is that Logan Paul will come out and he will say that he can't do anything because there's a legal dispute going on. And then most people understand that you can't do stuff during legal proceedings. And CoffeeZilla will probably make a video exposing why that's not true, but a lot of people won't see that. So then people will be like, okay, well, you know, and then eventually the, the case will end. And then CoffeeZilla will make another video and be like, okay, so now you're going to give the money back. And then by that time, it's like, this is like two years later, right? People don't even know what CryptoZoo was anymore. Like Logan Paul fucking... <laughs> <laughs> this dude is down the road. <laughs> this is like, that was another, like, he's going to go, he's going to be like this. He's going to be like, listen, that was a, I was in a different place in my life back then. <laughs> and I'm a different person now. And I've grown and I've changed. <laughs> and I just want to put all that behind me and I don't want to think about it anymore. Be fucking followed with this negativity. And so, like, let's just move on. Like, and, and that's what he's going to do. And I cannot fucking wait because it is so insane to me because people get so pissed off about this shit, right? Like, look at God, fucking God, God, fuck, he's beside it. Look at all these other people that are doing these scams for crypto and nothing ever fucking happened to them. And I don't think it probably ever will. Nothing's ever going to happen to these guys. And everybody gets pissed off about this. And it's like, I get that you're pissed off and it shouldn't be that way but it is and you gotta watch out for yourself because god knows the government doesn't give a fuck well we'll link coffeezilla's video again make sure to give it a like he's a legend he's trying to do a good thing man he is it's just it, it sucks logan paul's worth 250 million why would he scam people out of two million why would he like he's at a quarter of a billion dollars why would he want to lose that just for some fucking crypto bullshit and also keep in mind that like prime making 45 million dollars does not like this is this revenue or is this profit and on top of that he's probably not the only person that owns prime you, you see what i'm saying like there's a lot that you can say that you know might not necessarily make the most sense so he probably doesn't have 250 million dollars i mean i bet he's got a lot of money but that's probably uh probably not not it he bought coffeezilla on twitter that's smart because that way he can't message you anymore 
And just like say you just tell people to like, oh, I blocked him because uh, his fans were harassing me. Welcome, Paul is really the type of dude to thank you whenever you expose his scam and then block you whenever you remind him to pay up. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I cannot wait for him to do that. Like Logan Paul just to completely be like, yeah, that was a different point in my life. I was in a bad place. I just want to move past this. God, it's going to be so fucking nuts, man.